before starting this class, I'd like to take you on to the previous session wherein we uh, discuss the uh, display, uh, how to display list of users. If you remember, this is the program that we have already discussed. Uh, we click uh, show list and this list of users is displayed here. This is the last session which we have done. Now, uh, we have also done uh, one registration form. This is for entry. So, uh, in the the CRUD, uh, we create, uh, read, update, and delete. So, uh, this is the create record wherein we suppose we enter any value. and we register. So once we register, this information goes in the list. You can see these are the values in the list. And these are the informations which are pending. These are these pending values have to be updated by the admin. And if uh, today we want to see that if we do not require any of the record, how we can delete. For that, we have already created this list. You can see this is the list, the same list, uh, that is here but the extra thing is that we have added a delete icon here and once the user will delete any record suppose i click here uh, it will say record deleted and when you show it again that record will not be available here suppose i want to record this uh, delete this record of Gaurav i click it will say record deleted and when i click that record will be deleted from the database. So how this is happening? So first of all, what we have to do is we have to add one information, one more column where we will be uh, putting this delete icons. So I'll come to the code quickly. Uh, and here, this is the same select command, select asterisk from login. If you remember, we are working on this login table. This login table is in the college database. We have a login table. And this login table has, the, these are the records in the login table. And we want to delete one record from this list. So for that, we are using select asterisk from login. And here, if you can see, that we have added one more column with the value delete. This is just a label. And within, uh, under this label, within the loop, we were displaying ID, name, email, delete, etc. We have added one more column here. And this is what we have to understand. So this is under the delete, we have used an image. So we have used an image, image SRC is images delete.png. So we have a delete.png image in our folder. If you can come up, you can see that we have a delete.png folder, but we have a delete.png file available. And this is the file which we have used to or display as an icon. So if I go in the delete user page, so image SRC is this height and width you can put according to your choice. And this we have put in a span or a dev. And before that, we have used in this span, we have used two things. One is the class. This is the CSS. And the other is the JavaScript. So in this program, we are using JavaScript. We are using database. We are using Ajax. We are using a uh, CSS. So first of all, I like to show you what is the change I change this class doing. Suppose I do not use this, then what will happen? If I come to the output, if I can show you delete user, if I can refresh this. Now, suppose I point this icon, the finger 
the pointer is not changing. So what I want is whenever the user will point to this icon, the pointer should change so that the user will understand that uh, this has been activated. For that, we are using this class it was to change and if you can see in the style what we have mentioned here this is one line of code cursor is pointer so as soon as the uh, user brings in the mouse onto that image the cursor pointer will change and now if i have put in if i refresh you can see as soon as I bring the cursor here on this image, it is changing to pointer. It is changing to pointer. So one uh, thing that we have used is a style. This is the style that we have used here. And in that style, we have a class change. In this class change, we have one line of code, cursor is pointer, and we have used this here in our this under this delete column. We have a span. This span has a class change. And when this span is clicked, that the, when this image is clicked, we are calling a function called delete. So we are calling a function called delete. This delete function is a Java script function. And if you go at the top, you will see that we have a delete function in the JavaScript. This is the JavaScript code and we have a delete function. And what this delete function is doing, this delete function is passing the value of the ID because we do not want to delete all record. We want to delete a particular record whose ID is uh, to be passed to the database in the where clause. So what we are doing here is as soon as we click the delete button, the ID will be passed. This is the ID that we have taken from the database. If you can see, we have taken from the database the ID, the name, the email, the date, the status. So we want this ID to be passed to the uh, delete function so that we can tell the database that uh, this particular record is to be deleted. Now, suppose I only alert ID just to show what is happening. Now, if I see, if I refresh this delete user, if I show list, if I click this, see, it is the ID number one. If I click this, you can see it is the ID number eight. So we want in the delete function, the ID of that particular record so that only one record is deleted. If we do not give the where clause in the delete command, then all the records will be deleted. So in the database, we want to mention that only one record has to be deleted whose ID is whatever value is passed on the uh, function. So here, we have passed the, you can see, we have passed the ID of that record on the delete function. So that ID will be accepted here in this delete function. And here we'll write the code to delete and we'll try to understand this code. We'll come to this part. But before that, we want to understand this. In the, if you can see this list of user, we have ID, name, email, date, and status. If you see this, we have ID, name, email, date, status, and a delete column has been added. So when you come to this code, you can see that there is a delete column. And below that delete column, we have one information that is a span. And in this span, what we are displaying, we are displaying a delete icon and when this delete icon will be clicked this delete function javascript function will be called and when we point to that delete icon the pointer will change the mouse uh, icon will change to a finger pointer so that the user will understand that yes this uh, uh, this is now activated now what we have to do we have to create uh, another php a file where we will pass this value that we are 
accepting here, we have to create one more PHP file. So here we have created one more PHP file. The name is delete user Ajax. We can give the name anything that you want. And whenever we want a database connectivity, we use config.php. Then the value of that ID that is passed here is brought in this variable. Then we are writing this command delete from login where ID is equals to eight, suppose. And this query will be executed. And then this message will be given. So now what is happening? If you see this function, delete function, in this delete function, what we are doing here in this delete function, try to understand this delete function because we are using this code the very first time. So in this line number 27, you can see line number 27, we are calling this delete user ajax file. We are calling this delete user ajax file. And in that delete user ajax file, we are passing the ID that we have received here in this ID. And this value that we are passing from delete this line number 27 is going to this file. And here we can receive that value. So if we receive this value and uh, in this file delete user.ajax, what will happen? Now we can use this value to delete the record. And to delete the record, we uh, give the delete command, we execute the query, and we want the user to be informed that there is the record has been deleted. So we pass a value. This value that we pass from delete user ajax is received here. And this line number 22 in this variable response text. So whatever value we pass from here is displayed here. And now we call that delete user. So we call this file delete user file again. So what is happening? As soon as we click the delete icon, this delete function is caught. This delete function receives the ID of that particular record. That ID is passed on to this file. This file is uh, another PHP file. We are passing the value here. And this value is received here through this line, line number four. So the ID is now here. We give the command, delete command. The record will be deleted. And we want to give the user a message, record deleted. So this, whatever output we echo here will not be echoed here. Instead, this will come back to the delete user in this line number 22 here, this dot response text. So that is why a response message will be alerted. And then we call this delete user file again. What if we do not call this? Now, let me show you once again. This is the file, delete user. I want to delete this record. I click. This is the message that is coming, record deleted successfully. The record has been deleted, but on the screen, it is still showing. If you check the database, the record is deleted. See, in the database, the record is deleted, but on the screen, the, uh, since this screen was coming uh, before the delete button was clicked, so it is not refreshed. If we refresh it, then only we can show that the record is not available in the database. So to refresh the screen, we are using this line of code. So if we use this line of code, what will happen? Once the error message uh, will be you know, error message, uh, no, no, once the user will be alerted then the delete user uh, dot php file this the original delete user dot php file will be refreshed so that the user can understand that yes the record has been deleted so if i refresh this file show list you can see there are three records i delete this one record deleted and now when i see you can see that the record has been deleted if i call this function file this is got a I'll use got a 
and I'll give the last one. I'll register. Now, if I see in the list, show, show list, see we have a record. I, if I want to delete now, you can delete. So this is how the whole cycle is uh, uh, happening. So whenever in a database, we do four uh, activity uh, that is called CRUD, C-R-U-D, create, read, update, and delete. So here we are creating, we are record, suppose, This is called create. So I've created one record. Then I will uh, learn update. Uh, and we have here we have read. So this is the read. And then we have delete. So here we can, if we want to delete, delete. So one more thing is left in the database activity that is update. Now suppose we want to uh, change this active state to uh, pending and pending state to active, then we can do it very easily with the help of the same logic. So I'll quickly do that also. So what we have to do uh, here, the active, if we click the active, it will become pending. If we click the pending, it will become active. So what we have to do, we have to come to the code once again. And in this code, uh, let me leave this file as it is. I'll create one more. Update, delete, or under. Delete dot PHP. So now we have update, delete dot PHP. I'll copy everything from the delete user. Okay. See, update, delete. So we have the same code right now here. Now what we want in the output, we want one more column. Okay. So let me remove the date. We are not using date, so I remove the date. This or rather, let it be as it is. Delete is already there, status is already there, and this is status. We want to uh, click to change the status. So, what I'll do, I'll use a span. Okay, so I'll use a span. Once I use a span, if I bring the mouse on that, I want to change. So I'll copy this whole thing, control C. I'll paste this on this span as well. So what will happen as soon as we bring the mouse pointer above this status, the pointer will change. And instead of update, instead of delete, I'll call an update function. Okay, so I'm passing that. Now we'll come here and I'll copy this function. I'll name this as an update. And I'll create update user. We'll create this file. We'll pass ID. And we will also pass the present status. Because if it is active, then we have to change it to pending. So we need two values here. Status also is required. So from the code here, we'll not only pass 
ID, but will pass dollar status also. So we are passing two values because we want to update the status. So if it is active, we have to change it to pending. If it is pending, we have to change it to active. So we are passing at the status. That status is now here. And from here, we want to pass it to the Ajax to the another PHP. So what we will do? So here we pass one more value that is a status and status equals to plus status. So now what will happen? We'll pass ID, we'll pass a status. So these two values will pass in this file update user ajax now what we have to do and here also we have to change date user now we'll have to create one more file the name of the file will be update user ajax so i'll come here i'll create one more file update user ajax and in this file, we'll copy the same code that will save some time. I'm giving here this. Now, first of all, we have to receive two values. So then another value is the status. Status is dollar underscore get. So his status is also now received. Now we have to give the command update. Set status is equals to set the status equals to pending. This is status is value of the status is to equals to active. If the present status is active, then the status will be pending and and else. If the present status is pending, then it will be active. Update login such as status is equals to and then we'll execute this query record updated successfully. This message will be given. Uh, let us find out what is happening. It is happening as we have assumed, or we have made some error, then we will check update user. Update delete is the update. Update delete dot HP. Now you can see when we are pointing to update or pending, the mouse pointer is changing. So now if we want to make it pending, so I'll click. When I click, it is not happening, nothing is happening. That means there is some error. So how to resolve that error? We come here in the update delete.php. And here we'll 
find out whether the value is coming to this update function or not. So to see when put ID plus we also want the status to be seen here so that we can know that the values are coming to our net. Now again, show list, click active. Now say that function is not giving any alert. That means uh, this is not getting called. So why this is not getting called? We come here and we are calling this from span class is change on click is update id status span so we can see that these values are not going there properly so what we have to do shall we ID and status. We are passing the value of ID and status. And again, we'll come to the code. Click to show list. Still, the function is not got. That means The function is not yet. Let us see. Well, that means there can be some error in the function as well. So I'll remove everything. I'll keep it only this so that we can see if the function is getting called. We are not able to call the function. Okay. This is how we debug. So it is good that we are getting errors so that we can see how to debug span we have a class scene and we have on click. This is TD span on click equals to update. Keep the code so that we can do once it is done, we will use this code. So, what I will do, I'll do the comment so that we can bring the code when it is when the error is removed. And here, what I do is There might be a message sort it out. So I'll remove everything. Okay. And I'll just check whether we can get the six. Now let me Now you can see that the function is getting called. Now I'll first put one value. Call an ID. And now I'll check 
I have to change this one and status. status. Okay. I'm going a stepwise. This is what I think I'm going to stand where there is. Yes, it is there. When we are putting status, it is not able to pass the value. So why we are not able to pass the value because now uh, this is a uh, character type so what we can do is uh, we can sort it here also but we'll, for now what i'm doing is i'm changing the code okay i'm only interested with but i'm removing it Um, I'm not passing the status. So it is same. And in the update user Ajax, what we can do is uh, we can get the status. How we can get the status? Very simple. You might be remembering the select command. I'll use this code in this. Instead of getting it from there, I can directly take from the table the status from login table. Okay, where ID is this? Where ID is this? I'll exclude this. And I'll put this to this. So, what we are doing, we are uh, coming with the ID, then we are taking the status from the database itself and status so now we are taking the status from the we are coming with the id we are taking the status of that id we are checking if the status is active we are making it pending it is pending we are making it now let us check if everything is happening as we want. Okay. Okay, one. We got updated successfully. Update user. This is not the name of the file. Okay. So we just have to change the name of the file. Update, delete is the name. Update, delete is the name. So let us run it once again. Okay. Delete not show. See, Rajkumar is now pending. If I click it again, I'll show it is now active. Ananya is pending. The record update is successfully. And if you see it again, Ananya is active. If I click it again, and spending. So now what we are doing, we are changing the status also. We are changing the, uh, uh, and we are deleting also. So now we are done with the create, read, update, and delete. We can create, this is the create, then this is the read, and then we have the update and delete so here you can see that we can update and delete so in this program uh, we are using php we are using javascript we are using backend ajax we are using css we are using javascript together we are using so i hope you have 
uh, understood everything. I'll explain this once again. See, this is the delete command, this is the update command. What we are doing, we are bringing the ID and we are passing it to this part, this uh, PHP file. This is another PHP file. So uh, this PHP file, what, is, what it is doing, it is taking out the ID that the user has clicked, finding the status of that ID, and it is reversing it. If the status is active, it is making pending. Yeah, otherwise, it will make it active. So, uh, and then we'll give the message that the record has been updated successfully. And this alert, we do not need in anymore. It was only to check whether it is executing or not. So we can do it. So now one important thing, what is Ajax? Here you can see that when we click that um, delete icon or when we click that status, we want to execute uh, another another file. We are going to call another file without value, with that value. So we are coming with uh, that ID to this function that this function is a JavaScript function. And this JavaScript function is calling this PHP file and passing on this value. So this PHP file is getting called. This PHP file that is working in the background is the concept of Ajax. We can uh, call another PHP file and change the uh, database uh, status, whatever we want to. So this is how we can do a lot of things. Okay with PHP, MySQL, and everything that we have learned today.